Hi, it's Catherine, the author of Soriano. And on the mission field, um, we never, many times, we didn't have electricity. And I know in South Africa at the moment, we are struggling with power and electricity. But there's something I want to encourage you with. Um, a few weeks ago, I posted a video about um, my lip that was cut from here to here. And I shared the video and so many people prayed for me and so many people encouraged me. And I just finished reading um, Toriana chapter 7 where um, there was this completely deaf little girl called Sia. Um, and I didn't know she was deaf and the more I worked with her, well, you can listen to chapter 7 and just see what a miracle God had done. And it just got me thinking on the mission field, there were so many times um, where situations were happen. Um, I worked on a, a volunteer missionary ship and um, the whole boiler went and we were just floating out to sea. And the captain came over the intercom and he said, um, I'd like everyone just to humble themselves as God calls us to and get on your knees and um, pray. And I can remember I was with the engineers and they said, Kath, we're going to lay hands on the boiler. And we laid hands on the boiler. And they said, Look, we don't do this. We normally fix things. We're guys. We fix things, but we can't. We laid hands on the boiler and then in faith they started. I'm telling you, the boiler started and they had worked hours and days and nights to fix it. And without the boiler, the ship couldn't carry on. We were just floating out to sea. But it started and it worked and it got us to the next port. That's God. And I was so convicted. I thought, we as humans feel we can fix everything. And right now in ESCOM, there's load shedding. And I know a lot of people are critical of the company. Um, but let's, as Christians, let's humble ourselves. Let's pray. Um, I can also remember on a missionary trip, this one where um, Sia was healed in my Toriana chapter 7. Of, she was completely deaf. And we were going in vehicles in 4 by 4s And this one vehicle just kept cutting up, just kept cutting out. And I mean, we were like, we're never going to get home. And I said to the guys, listen, this is what happened with the boiler on the ship. Let's, can, can we just lay our hands on the truck and, and on the vehicle and pray? And they were like, oh, a typical cat, there she comes. And I was like, let's just humble ourselves and pray. And we did. We laid our hands on the truck. And it started and it just kept going and it just kept going and it just kept going. So I want to step out in faith for ESCOM and I just want to lay out my hand and I just want to pray Lord Jesus, please can you help the engineers? Please can you help every generator, everything that's involved, Lord? Will you just amazingly do a miracle and restore our power? Let's go from stage six to stage four. And while we with candles or while we trying to manage time, let us have hope. Let us encourage each other. Let's not bring us each other down. Let us hope and trust in God. He is all powerful and he can do this. So let's trust in him to bring our power back. Not man, but God. Amen.